A pipette is a common piece of laboratory equipment used to accurately measure and dispense set volumes. Every pipette has a set range, meaning that it will only dispense between the volumes stated on the pipette. To ensure a diverse range of volumes can be manipulated, multiple pipettes with different volume ranges are used. For example, this set of four pipettes can accurately dispense from 0.5 microliters up to 5 milliliters. Therefore, before starting to pipette, it is important to choose the correct pipette for the volume required. The pipette itself should never come into contact with any liquid, so disposable pipette tips are fitted and used to handle the liquid. Pipettes have multiple moving parts, so it is essential to know how it functions before using it. To set the volume, rotate the operating button clockwise or anticlockwise until your desired volume is displayed on the indicator. To use the pipette, the operating button is depressed where two points of resistance, known as stops, will be felt. The first stop is used to aspirate the set volume, whereas the second stop is used to completely flush out the aspirated liquid. The final moving part is the tip ejector. To remove the tip, push the tip ejector downwards. Next, for a demonstration of pipetting. First, the volume is set. Next, the tip is fitted. It is important to get a good seal on the pipette tip to stop any leakage. Next, the operating button is depressed to the first stop and the pipette tip is placed into the liquid and then the button is smoothly returned to the resting position. The tip should be placed a few millimetres below the surface of the liquid. The operating button is then depressed down to the second stop, flushing out all of the liquid. The tip is then ejected. Pipetting for a period of time can become strenuous. To help reduce this stress, organise your work area by moving regularly used items such as tips and tubes closer to your body and less frequently used items away from this comfortable working zone. In conclusion, when pipetting remember to choose the appropriate pipette size for the volume required. Make sure that you have set the volume correctly before starting. Always use a pipette tip and never force the tip onto the pipette. Only use the first stop to aspirate the liquid. Use the second stop to completely flush out the liquid. Dispose of the tip when finished via the appropriate waste disposal route. And organise your workspace to reduce strain.